Madison underscore Perrot 324 asks, who were your biggest role models when you were little? Growing up, there was obviously so, like, so many girls that I watched. Um, and I think my first Olympics I remember watching was 2004. So I definitely yes. remember Carly Patterson. 2007 Worlds, or, or it was like, or Nationals was in Anaheim in 2007. Oh, cool. So like me and a bunch of my teammates went. I remember watching, it was like one of the first like elite wow. meets I'd like seen in person. So I was like really inspired to like see all those girls um, compete and then like to see who made the Olympic team that year mm -hmm. and then like in 09 was my first like national team camp and I was like training with all the people I'd like watched that's like, so cool. before like and like looked up to so it was like really crazy to like just have that like become my reality like just a few years later wow. I thought that was so surreal yeah because that's kind of how I felt with y'all honestly <laughs> <laughs> like because you see, like, I watched them compete on TV. You know, when I would go home, the little girls would be like, oh my god, you know them? You have their number? <laughs> you have them on Snapchat? And I'm like, yeah, it's Kyla. I totally feel you on that, because yeah. that's how I felt with you guys. Because it's just such a nini. You are the sticky and handstand queen. Um, my favorite story is, I think you're at nationals, and um, you know how they replay routines in slow-mo, and she already holds her handstands really freaking long, she's really chilling there for a minute, <laughs> and one of the commentators said something like, oh, like, she could have a cup of tea and maybe some crackers while she's some in crackers. her routine. <laughs> during her routine. My question for you is, what is your advice you would give to somebody that is trying to master a certain skill? For me, I just like always want to like end my routine on like a high note, so like whenever I end on a stick, like it just feels that much better. Um, but obviously, like the huge thing is repetition. Like the only way you can get better at something is by doing it over and over and over again. And like when I was in club and elite, we didn't practice like sticks or handstands as much as I do now. Like in college, that's like such a huge component. It's, like mm -hmm. you can go from like here to here just by like three girls like getting better handstands or sticking, mm -hmm. finishing the stick. Like. It yeah. can be like a six tenth difference or more. Whenever I like, I'm not super tight when I land. <laughs> like, <laughs> see myself like hitting the feet, hitting the floor with my feet, and just like Cause right when I stick my arms insane. out, they're like super tight. Like, like everything's tight. Like from like even my fingers like are tight. My core is tight. Like squeeze my legs. But like I don't try to force it like before. It's like once mm. I hit my feet, then I'm like ready. For Hansons, Chris is like a huge reason why my Hansons are a lot better. <laughs> just because in elite, like you don't. It's not like a huge thing to hit your handstands because your routine is like 12 skills long but we do so much like shaping and handstand mm -hmm. drills mm -hmm. and core does it feel like autopilot when you stick or when you do when you go through your routine sometimes i know like some days it's it's harder to like because gymnastics is like all about like how you like the feeling because it's like it's all body awareness so like mm -hmm. some days it's easier to like feel normal and just be like cast and like bam like you hit the handstand but other days like if you're tired or something like sometimes it's not autopilot and you just have mm. to like try to work with like how you're feeling that day. Gotta work with what you got. It's like a lot of adjusting, <laughs> yeah. a lot of kind of like maneuvering And yeah, yourself. also like if the bars are different, like mm. it's always hard. Oh, yeah. um, just like that first turn up, like at, at, at meets is like trying to adjust to like how the bars feel. Yeah. I was like, and, like I don't know, have that experience, but you guys Anderson, do. There's, oh. there's the Japanese bar. <laughs> The, one of like the hardest things about competing elite is yeah. the equipment is so different from country to country. Yeah. Oh gosh, like, that would it, stress like, me out. Sometimes you gotta adjust like either in practice or sometimes you're adjusting in the meet and I feel like yeah. that's why I think you just get are so good because you are you like accept that it not every day is gonna be the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like every time you're always like fine tuning and even like what you said, just keeping your body tight. Yeah. Like if you watch her gymnastics, she literally looks like a rock. Like <laughs> it's like boom. And then stick. Poo. So soft. Okay, so uh. this goes into my next question. And I think just, I've never really asked you, but you know, maybe I think like a lot of people just <laughs> are curious. Kyla, what makes a perfect 10 routine? Honestly, like sometimes I watch my routine and then I like, I'm like, they shouldn't have given me 10. Like <laughs> sometimes like I could have done this better. I could have done that better. But like, I don't know. It's all just like, Miss Val would always say, it's the illusion of the 10. Like you're selling to the judges. Like yeah. this is like as close to perfect as I can get and so I think that's something that I feel like I've like gone a lot better at is like just like on bars like trying to finesse the handstands or just trying to like save the stick as much as I can or like dancing mm. out of a skill on beam to make sure you're not wobbling so I think it's just 
like learning like almost like I mean you you are the queen of it too just like adjusting in like while you're doing your routine to just make it look as false yeah. as you as you want it to be. It's like when Ms. Bao was she would say, um, oh gymnastics is acting 101. <laughs> I think that's like the one of the first things she says when we come in freshman year. Cause in college you're reaching for that perfect 10 and she yeah. always says like you're never really going to have like a perfect routine. Mm -hmm. But it's kinda like again like when you stick Oh, you ended on such a great note yeah. that it's like you can celebrate it. The crowd's getting hyped. It's like why like, you have to give her a ten. Yeah, it's just like making sure you you give the judges like nothing to like make them question. Like, mm -hmm. And then obviously like, them nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she literally gives them nothing. I'm like they have to give her a ten again. <laughs> like well, what are they gonna do? <laughs> and then when they give you like a nine nine five, like where did you see that? I'm like that was a ten. Mm -hmm. It's fun being in the audience. <laughs> It truly is, honestly. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, I would watch the UCLA meets when I was young, since I'm, like, pretty local. Uh -huh. But, like, now, like, as an alumni, I'm, like, so excited, like, next year to, like, be able to watch this. Like, alumni. truly. Yeah. yeah. But you can come sit with us next year. I will. We're gonna have a whole crew. I know. <laughs> what Brielle called. I know, I saw that. Because she's here. Oh. What is she what doing is here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I, I really, really like, enjoy her house. <laughs> Oh, her house is so nice. Yes. Oh, you guys have been? Yeah, I've been oh, a couple times. Go? Yeah. I went Anaheim. Uh, That's when I went. I went to Anaheim, and then I went when I was in San Diego when I lived there. Her parents were like big sleepovers sometimes in, in club. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> you guys trained no, together. No joke. One time we played hide and seek. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I was hiding in this one closet for like <laughs> 25 minutes <laughs> and no, like even like they opened the closet and they didn't see me because it was like dark in the closet like I was hiding and for like 25 minutes they couldn't find me. <laughs> like, I was like, at that point I was like I'm getting tired of hiding. Because <laughs> you're like over it, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like I'm over this game. So you won that game. No, I won. That's funny. That is funny. Look, it's Brielle. I like your pants, dude. Thank you. Yes. I actually found another really good question, but this should be quick. Super Piper one. They asked, what's the best general life advice you've gotten? That's a good one. Yeah, I was like, I can't pass that one up. Man, these, thanks guys for all your <laughs> questions. These are good. I don't know, I'm like really bad at like remembering like quotes. <laughs> um, I think it was, Ms. Val like talked about it mostly her, like her last year, but it was, Oh my gosh, see like I'm so bad with quotes. <laughs> okay, I think it's, I think it goes, um. Uh, <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I know. I I'll help you out. Which choices you make. Yes, yes, okay, I'm so bad, like she'd be so <laughs> mad at me right now. <laughs> it's like the choices you make dictate the kind of life you, you want to live. No matter like positive or negative, like that the outcome is, it's like you decide, like you made that choice. That's like kind of like a huge part of, of like growing up is like people like, when you're younger, it's like, oh, like the world, like, it's like, oh, maybe like you think the world is out, not out to get you, but it's sometimes like, though. <laughs> I, know, sometimes, sometimes, like, sometimes, I would though. be like, I know, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, why did I get this parking ticket I did not deserve? <laughs> <laughs> but then I would like think back and I'm like, shoot, like, I did park 30 minutes over the meter, so like, I guess it is my fault. Yeah. 